Hi, today we're looking at a free screen recorder and online editor that you can start using today. No downloads required and you can get started for free. So let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the program we're looking at today is called RecordCast. So let's go ahead and open up the website. We're going to pop in that URL right there, recordcast.com. Now, as soon as you enter the website, you will see that this is a free online screen recorder and video editor. And that's what sets this apart from many of the other screen recorders. You have a basic editor. So let's jump in. We're going to click on start recording. Now, when we start recording, the first thing we select is what do we want to record? Our screen and webcam, just the screen or the webcam. I'm going to select screen only. So we're going to click on screen only and then next step. Now we have to select the different permissions that we give it for recording the audio. So here you can see microphone and system audio, just the microphone or just the system audio or no audio at all. I'm going to select microphone and system audio and then click on start recording. Now you can see the free recorder captures up to 30 minutes at a time. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on start recording. Go ahead and click on that share that we see. Click on got it and share audio, share. There we go. It is now recording. Now, as you can see here, my timer is running and I can start demonstrating different things. So I'm just going to move around the mouse a little bit. And then once I'm done, I'm going to click on that stop button. I can pause the recording, do something else and then resume it. As you can see here, the time continues to run. Once we're happy with our recording, let's press stop. We now have our video and it's time to preview this video. I can click on play to preview. There we go. It is you can see the video starts running and I can now choose to download this file and use it in an editor. I can do that by clicking on download. Now, if I choose to use the built-in editor, the online editor that comes with RecordCast, I will click on edit and export in MP4. So we click on that. And this sends me straight to their online editor. You can see here we have multiple tracks. I can drop some background music in there and I have my video file. I can move my file around. I can even trim it by simply dragging these sides. I can split my video. So let's say that I wanna make a split here. I can drag this part up and you will see that it jumps from one to the other. In addition to that, I can always go to the top, click on record and record more footage. This allows me to add multiple recordings all together in a single video file. I can also go to the text option right here and I can add some basic text effects and dynamic text effects. So here, for example, I can choose this bounding rectangle. So let's go ahead and click on that plus, add it to our timeline. That has been added there. I'm going to add it at the beginning. We can preview that here on the right hand side. And you can see that we can enter the text here. Title. And then we're going to add some subtext. Example. Okay. So here you can see we have that example title. As our timeline runs, we're going to just press play. There we go. And you can see that title recording. appearing. So this is a very basic online editor, but it's great for instructional videos. If you want to quickly create something, add some titles, add a bit of extra information, you can use this. We have other options here as well. We've got those backgrounds. We can add multiple backgrounds. So let's say that I want to add a orange background. Let's add that to our timeline. Let's go there. And let's make this a little bit smaller by dragging those corners on my preview pane. So here we're going to just make this smaller and you can see we have multiple video tracks that can run picture in picture or even alongside each other, just like that. This is great when you're trying to show something and you've got multiple viewpoints. Maybe one is the webcam, the other is your screenshot. Well, you can do picture in picture or even side by side views. We can also go to the elements and we can add a number of elements here. Now these are all animated. So you can see we have these arrows. Let's go with this one. Let's just add that to our timeline. I'm going to pop it in there. And as you can see here, this arrow just pops in right where we want it. We can move it around. We can even resize it. So I really enjoy using this program. We have a number of elements all built in and there is even a search at the top. So let's say that I'm looking for a grumpy face. There we go. Grumpy face. And we have lots of grumpy faces that we can now add into our video. There we go. We then also have overlays and this is the final part of our editor. So let's go ahead and go to the overlays. And here you can see that we have a number of text overlays, intros and outros. So let's just put that outro right there at the end. And there we go. We can change all the information on that input text. We can change the links 
can change the colors. So here you can see at the top, what we can change here is the color of the slide. So let's just go with green. And we now have a green outro. The logo pops in and our text pops in. Very easy to use. Now I say that you're ready to export this video and then share it with your students. Well, first of all, let's give it a title, demo video, and then let's go to export. Now, in order to export, you'll have to create your account. Very easy, you can sign up with Google, it creates that free account, and then you can give it permission and it automatically does everything for you. We can now choose how we want this file to be exported. So we're going to title this demo video, and then we can export at 480p, 720 or 1080. I'm going to export at 720, that's good enough. And let's go ahead and click on export. It is now rendering this video, everything gets joined together. We've got all those different elements and those different scenes. We've got them all resized and a couple of overlays popped in. You can see it renders and then as soon as this render is finished, we get our file automatically downloaded we can now watch this file. So let's go ahead and open up our file. It is now there we go. Recording. I'm going so to mute the here, file. Time... You can see all those elements are there. We had that title pop in, that second scene. We have this element here and that face. We have the background change and then we have that outro. Very easy to use. This is a free editor and recorder. It's online, super easy to get started with and there are no downloads required. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, jump into that comment section below. Let me know, have you tried this? Do you use another online editor? Is there another program you enjoy using? I'd love to learn about it in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.